Hi, so today we're going to go through how to register your fitness level results. First of all, you find yourself in the dashboard, which you will get to after login. Uh, this dashboard is your default destination when you log in, and you find it from the menu as well. So, and you can find the fitness level uh, system in the menu here as a menu item. So, but since I haven't done any testing yet, I have the fitness level of zero. Clicking on this, zero. So here we have all the categories. I have no data for any of the categories yet. Okay. So, and here below here, we have the next step suggestions. Uh, so let's let's go ahead with registering some results. Okay, plank and shoulder taps perhaps. I already have data for this, so I'm gonna register the results for it. I did a plank test uh, a few months ago. Let's say I did it in the first of January, and I remember I weighed 94 kgs. Um, it doesn't matter in the gymnastics category, but for weightlifting etc it matters what your body weight is so i held a plank for let's say three minutes mm -hmm. okay still no update here because i haven't got all the basic requirements for the category so i need to complete uh, the plank shoulder taps test as well I did at the same session uh, and I did, I don't know, let's say 300 reps as well now, 100 reps. And I did that yesterday. Okay, now I got a fitness level since I've completed uh, all required workouts on a level. Let's go here to check it out. Yep. So check, check, check. Oh, it happens <laughs> that I got to, yeah, I've completed uh, the highest level that you can achieve in the plank and in the plank shoulder taps. So, but let's say you had, uh, um, you have shoulder taps as well. Actually, I did this last week. Uh, not fake. So I did 85 and my shoulders were smoked. So in the shoulder tap category, I got to level 15. Okay. Then I did a wall facing handstand. I did it the same session, not that wise. So I only accumulated 48 seconds. So now you see I completed all the required uh, workouts uh, for these categories and I'm maxing out on the wall facing handstand which means that I cannot pass level 12 here. Okay, so that's how that works. So in these kind of categories, like the bend and push uh, and aerobic capacity, you might notice that you will see figures behind the, um, the workout. This means that if you complete any of these two on the level, you will pass the level. Okay. Um, so we can have many tests here and if you pass just one of them, you will pass the level. And this is because you want to be able to mix um, uh, a lot of kind of workout testing um, and on some levels let's say if you have uh, 10 tests it's not reasonable to to pass all of the tests um, so that's why okay uh, this confuses some people so now you know let's say I did bend and push 4 which I actually did and I think I did yeah, I did uh, 
three rounds. So that's 81 plus uh, five, three, so it's 96 reps. I did that two months ago. And I weighed 92 kg at the time. So, you see, I got this level, despite that I haven't done these tests. Okay, so that's that. Uh, so this was the, uh, if you were an existing uh, athlete that have uh, results prior. But if you are beginning, you're starting out, you should start from the bottom up. And if you start from the bottom up, you should register all the, uh, the next the next step suggestions so that means if it me uh, I mean if you're gonna do ring rows uh, according to uh, to this standard ring row level two is a ring row where you hang the rings at your belly button step one foot uh, you have the instructions here so uh, so be it right uh, let the testing take time and don't do all the tests uh, at once you will increase your fitness level over time. All right, so that's that. Uh, 